the question mark. It's one of the most powerful characters in the JavaScript universe, providing syntactic sugar in three awesome yet totally unrelated ways. First up, we have the ternary operator. The word ternary literally means composed of three parts. Using the question mark as our starting place, we add a condition on the left side, then on the right side, we add a value to assign when the condition is truthy. But if the condition is falsy, we add a colon to assign a different value. The operator is often used to replace a traditional if statement. The code in a ternary expression is far more concise, but you might argue that it's much less readable than an if statement. And you might be right, that is until you need to assign a variable. A statement, like if, is code that does something. It's imperative. It begins with state, then as the program's executed, it mutates the state and takes multiple lines of code just to assign a variable based on a simple condition. The ternary operator, on the other hand, creates an expression, which means that it produces a value that we can then assign to a variable. And this code is declarative. It describes the state of the variable as opposed to mutating it. That's why we can use const here, but require let in the if statement. Declarative code is awesome because it can also be used in function arguments and in array and object literals. But the question mark isn't done there. In 2020, an awesome new feature landed in JavaScript called optional chaining. At some point, you've likely written code that calls an object property that does not exist, and when that happens, it triggers an error at runtime. You could write some code that asserts a property exists before calling it, but this can get really ugly. Nowadays, you can just insert a question mark between the property name and the period between the next property. If the parent property is undefined, it'll just return undefined instead of throwing an error. That's a truly life-changing feature for the JavaScript developer, but the question mark has one more trick up its sleeve. Nullish coalescing. In many cases, you may want to set a default value for a missing variable or property name. You can easily do that with a logical OR operator. If the left side is falsy, then use the value on the right side. But because JavaScript has a bunch of weird rules for what is truthy and falsy, you may get weird results, like an empty string or zero being set to a default value because it resolves to falsy. Instead of logical OR, you can add a double question mark, which works just like logical OR, except undefined and null are the only values that short circuit to the right side, making the behavior of your code much more predictable. This has been the JavaScript question mark in 100 seconds. If you want to see more short videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.